everyone and welcome back to my garage it is another edition of the groovy gold hunter paid dirt review and i got another brand new one for you and it's pretty cool it's different it's definitely different blah 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 let's do the intro and then we'll look at it Yeah, man, got another new one. This is from MCD Prospecting. This is an eBay pay dirt. It is guaranteed gold as well. It was guaranteed two grams of gold, which is why I got it. And yeah, MCD Prospecting gold pay dirt came with a gold vial. And here's the pay dirt. Right there. Isn't that cool? It's a bottle of whiskey. It's plastic. Are you wondering if that's a glass bottle or not? No. There it is. I think it comes from California. Didn't come with any stickers or anything else. It just came with that business card, this, and the go bow. So yeah, let's pour it into a bowl and see what we got. This is going to be cool. I've never poured pay dirt into a bowl before. <laughs> oh my God. It's sealed? Will blow me down. <laughs> it has a sealed top. That's funny. Just broke the seal. Cool. Let's pour it in. Very dry. It looks like river gravel, river rocks. Not a whole lot of dirt in there at all. Definitely going to save this. And man, loved it. You don't have to worry about creases and crevices. That's a cool idea. I like that. I'm going to save that for sure. Very clean material. I think this came either from maybe his concentrates. Maybe he sluiced and this is the concentrates. Or he got this out of the river because, again, very clean. Hardly any dust or dirt in there whatsoever. There it is. We're going to classify it. We're going to probably do probably go ahead and do a quarter inch i always say i'm gonna just use my green classifiers and start with my 10 mesh but every time i do that there's always bigger rocks so let's start with quarter inch and work our way down and see what happens all right and there's my quarter inch classifier right here just gonna dump all that in real quick well not a whole lot Ooh, it is a little dusty but yeah it pretty much all just fell through so i probably will just well there's no gold in this so, I mean, we'll stick it in a bowl. No gold in it that I saw. You can look at it real quick. I don't think there's gold in that. We'll probably combine the tin mesh with that just because there's hardly any material in there whatsoever. Tin mesh, we'll just dump it all in there. Shake it up real good. I always forget I have an eighth inch classifier. I could use that. Like I was saying, guaranteed two grams of gold. So there should be some decent sized gold in here. And I'll just keep going back and forth on it real quick. Activating light speed. All right, guys, we are done with the classifying. Let's take a look, and here it is. Starting with plus 10 mesh. It's a quarter inch, but I went ahead and put my plus 10 in there as well. 20 mesh, 40 mesh, 60 mesh, and minus 60 right there. So five classifications. Start down here. I'm gonna work our way up to the top. There it is. There's the bottle, plastic of course and yeah let's get to the overhead yay so that was the last pay dirt that i did i don't really need to get rid of my water because it's clear as day we're just going to go ahead and use that for this as well so this is what i got I'm just going to go ahead and run my magnet over it real fast see how much magnetic material is even in here but see how clean it came out very clean pay dirt so we'll do we'll do half and half there's not a whole lot in there and after i do this pan i will get on that website description and tell you exactly what's supposed to be in here stratify it real good one more time then we'll get to panning it and you can see the black sands and i have no idea what kind of gold i'm going to get from this i don't know if there's going to be any flower gold or what Oh wow, my pan, I'm sitting here panning. This is the pan that I always use. And as I'm panning it off, I'm sitting there looking at it going, what is all that brown stuff? I got all kinds of rust on this lip right here and over here. It's probably from that material that I did from Mount Baker Mining and that other gold ore. Tons of sulfites in there.
Let me get those together and let you see them. There's like two, four, five, maybe six very, very tiny pieces of gold up there. I'll repan this, make sure I didn't miss anything. I'll be right back. We'll do the second part of this, minus 60. I'll go ahead and put it in here. Ooh, that was a lot more than I thought it was going to be. Jeez. Stratify it, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. I'm just going to read the description of this stuff real quick to let you know what I got. Yeah, I did get this on eBay, and it's doesn't have like a company name it just says gold pay dirt guaranteed two grams of gold i paid 142 dollars for the bottle plus tax 14.82 so i paid 166.82 total for it item description from the seller experience the thrill of discovering gold with this guaranteed two grams of gold pay dirt now that's a tricky thing to hear when they say guaranteed two gram of gold pay dirt they're just guaranteed pay dirt they're not guaranteeing gold so that's tricky but if you keep going down this is what i was reading when i bought this this rare collectible is perfect for rock fossil and mineral enthusiasts mined from high quality precious metal deposits this pay dirt is an excellent addition to any collection immerse yourself in the excitement of panning for gold and uncovering hidden treasures each bottle contains 1.5 pounds pay dirt well i'm sorry each well that's what it says each bottle one 1.5 pounds pay dirt contains a guaranteed two gram of gold. I'm reading this verbatim, by the way. Let me read that again. <laughs> I can't read. Each bottle, 1.5 pounds pay dirt, contains a guaranteed two gram of gold, making it a valuable addition to any collection. Add this unique specimen to your rock or mineral display and experience the wonder of discovering gold. Doesn't say where it's from, doesn't say where he got it, just kind of vague. It looks maybe Californian. I think it came from California when I looked at the postage. So, anyway, there it is. Sorry, didn't mean to veer off track there, but back to panning. A panning we will go, a panning we will go. Hi ho, where's the gold? A panning we will go. I don't like dirty water. Ooh, I see hematite in there. We're dog sitting. If you've watched my channel, you know that we just recently, back in October, lost our Chihuahua Didi. And this is the first dog we've had in our house since then. And this is some kind of cocker spider. No, King Cavalier Spaniel Poodle mix thing. And the dog absolutely hates me. Awesome. And to answer your next question, yes, I'm trying to get another dog, but my wife is still not ready for it. We're going on vacation next week. She keeps wanting to put it off. She keeps saying she's not ready to go through that again. So pretty much whenever she's ready, we'll get another dog. But for right now, no. And let me tell you, there is nothing worse than an empty household with no pets it is so lonely sometimes quick tap come on baby let me hit let me do that again trying to get all that gold to come over here wow that's very effective it did come over here all right panning it back i still haven't figured that method out you're supposed to do something else after you tap it like that but i forget i saw it on a gold hog channel it's showing how to pan flower gold all right that's good enough two four six eight ten about ten or eleven really really small flakes and we are done with the minus 60. let's move on to the plus 60 minus 40. boom busting out the blue pan i didn't even know this these were the exact same pans but if you've seen any of my other videos i've shown you this pan and i love this pan because i love this right here that finishing edge but i hate the color because it's a really light green and it makes it really hard to see gold with that color green. So I found me a blue one. You can see where I've sanded it down. It's a little bit lighter than I was hoping for. I was actually hoping that that blue would be uh, like this. This is darker blue and it shows gold really well and it shows sands really well too. Anyway, here's my 60 mesh plus 60 minus 40 and we will start with that much yeah the only thing i do not like about this pan is it's too big of a surface to stratify with this would be really good for a river and or creek not so much just for gold panning at home as a matter of fact i think this is a 14 inch and i should have got a 10 inch all right here we go It 
be enough on that side. I'll take it to this finishing side, but I think that this is a little bit too big to be doing on the finishing side. Let's do this. I want to make sure I'm not losing any gold. So I'm going to pan into a pan just in case. And then I'll repan everything that's in that pan to make sure I'm not missing gold. There's a few pieces of gold in there. So let's get a little water in there. Try to tap this back and try to get these black sands to move. It's really hard to do this. See, still haven't figured this pan out yet. So let's do this. Let's just dump it in this boat. I wanted to try that pan with this. I don't think I'm quite there yet with that pan, but this gold claw I really like because it does pull off black sands and leaves the gold behind. It's like four pieces of some very, very small flaky gold. Put some more water in there and suck that up. Yeah back to this pan as i'm sitting here doing this i'm contemplating what pan i'm going to buy next the blue pan i will definitely take to a creek or river next time i pan because i think it would be excellent for that i'm talking about home stuff not a whole lot of gold so far in all this stuff kind of surprised but there is two pieces of gold in here for sure pieces one two super small flakes maybe it's all right here see what i mean i always think that last bit that's in that bowl is not as much as it always is so this is the last of the plus 60 and then we got three more left i'm filming this march the 15th it's getting close to that time where all you guys if you haven't already are going to start hitting those creeks and rivers and start searching for that gold i'm one of them cannot wait i am going to try to start planning me some trips where i can go do some gold hunting this year i didn't do any last year not one time i think i'm going to start out light go to georgia alabama somewhere that's close two or three days and then hopefully by maybe june i can schedule me a trip to somewhere like california arizona something like that where i can try my luck out in the west side of the world where all the gold is supposed to be all right we got a little bit more gold out of this last one but not a whole lot and there went a floater Damn it, that looks like a piece of gold too. I keep sticking my fingers in there like an idiot and the gold keeps floating. So we've got two, four, six, seven pieces. Very, very small flakes. And that is all of the 60 mesh. Time four, the 40. Do a little bit to start out with. I've already pulled the magnetic material out, hardly any. And we'll just start with that little bit right there. I just put out, I'm so far behind on videos. I've been doing the same videos over and over again, but I've gotten so much pay dirt in the past few months, like since November of last year, that I'm doing all these pay dirts and I'm not being able to keep up with all the editing and putting it on YouTube. And when I bought that Mount Baker Mining and Metals Gold Ore, that set me back even further because of how long it took me to crush all that stuff and make a rock crusher and all that. I mean, it took at least three months. So it put me behind. And then when I did the video, it took a couple weeks for me just to put it out because there was so much content, so much footage. I put it out last week, last Saturday, as a matter of fact, exactly a week ago tomorrow. And and I got, as of today, I've gotten 14,000 views. As I pan this back, that is definitely not me bragging. That is me wondering, why am I getting that many views? It made no sense to me. Two, four, six, eight pieces. Nice, pretty gold, too. Look at that. They're getting bigger. The last video that I had a lot of views on was when I did a bag of sand from Home Depot. I got, uh, to this date, I got 100,000 views. The reason why that mystifies me is because I don't get that many views on my channel. I've got that one that has 100,000, and then this one that I put out last week. I got 15,000, 14,000 as of, like I said, today. I couldn't figure it. I'm like, how am I getting that many views? Does it, that many people know who he is? Is everybody looking for a Mount Baker Mining and Metals video that's 50 minutes long? It's a long video. Uh, no, it was because YouTube featured it on the channel. So when people pulled up their YouTube account or whatever, that video was featured. And they do it very rarely and apparently once a year 
year because last year around this time was the Home Depot. And then, like I said, last week I get this. It's awesome because I was able to get like another hundred subscribers, which is exciting. But now it's, it's, it's just, it's confusing as hell because I'm like, how did I get, how can I do that over and over again? Why is it just that one time? My point is it's weird. You know, it's weird how that stuff, all of the algorithms and whatever, I've been trying to figure that stuff out since I've started doing any videos on YouTube and I still haven't figured it out. I don't do clickbait. I hate Eight clickbait stuff. I'm not going to sit there and put, I found this 45 pound nugget in my bag. Watch this now. And then I'm panning out and I show you a, a tenth of a gram of a nugget. I'm not doing that. A lot of people do that. But I don't want to do that to get viewers and to get looks and get likes and whatever. I don't want to lie to you guys. So, yeah, I don't know what the deal is. I mean, I obviously appreciate it because I got so many comments and stuff from people, which is what I like. I like talking to you guys. If you're not being mean and ugly and nasty and telling me how stupid I am, that's great. I just found it fascinating that I had that many views. It's just so confusing. Let me pan this back. I'm See, I'm babbling way too much. But I try to get you guys put out the best video that i can so there's those real quick sorry i have to veer off two four six eight ten ten flakes all right last of the plus 40 minus 20. So getting back to this stuff, yeah, the bigger that I go on this material, the quicker and easier it is to pan off. This stuff is just gliding off the pan. There is the last of that plus 40 minus 20. We got two, four. That's a pretty big piece right there. Nice long piece. Two, four, six, eight, nine more chunks. Done with that. Let's move on to our 20 mesh. We're almost done, guys. I'm going to do this in two. We'll do that much, and then we'll do the same on the other one. I was looking at my golden, my snuffer bottle, and I don't even have maybe a tenth of a gram. So we should start seeing some serious gold here in a minute, folks. Oh yeah, I can hear it. I can hear it rubbing against that pan. It's making that wonderful gold scratching sound. Can you hear it? Listen. Oh, good Lord, look at all that gold. I got a sneak peek <laughs> before all of my tailings, all the lighter stuff got on top of the gold. Here we go, let's pan it back. Tap, one time, look at that. Wow, that is some sweet gold. Got three pickers in there for sure. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Nice chunks of gold right there. Suck that up. All right, I think I got it all. All right, last bit of this, and we are done with the 20 mesh. Let's hope we get another pan just like that one. That was a nice pan. Oh, yeah, I hear that gold in there. Finishing, so oh, Lord, have mercy. I saw that smiley face. Get all them crumbs off. Quick tap. Boom. Look at there. Get on out of there. Huh? Get. Some flat, some rigid. All kinds of different types of gold in this. Three, six, nine, twelve, thirteen, fourteen more pieces. Awesome. And we are done with 20 mesh. And we've only got one more to go. So this is it. This is everything plus 10. I'll do half and half. I'm going to try to get all them bigger rocks out the best I can. I'm going to look at some of this stuff, see if I've got any quartz. I don't see any quartz offhand. I'm going to pick some of these bigger rocks out because I don't want those to drag any gold out of my pan. That's a weird looking rock. It almost looked like a tooth. <laughs> oh, show me something. Oh, and I see a piece of gold. One piece. Nice size, too. That is a nugget right there. Look at that. Oh, it's two pieces. <laughs> I thought it was one big piece, and it broke into two. So, no, nah, that's okay. Two pieces, but they're both pickers. Right there, one, two. Awesome. I uh, thought I had me a nugget, and it broke into two. Or it was two. And here it is. Dump it all in there. Ooh, I see some gold in here, folks. I see it already. I see at least two small pieces. And by small, I mean 10 mesh small. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to make sure I get these big rocks out of there first. So I don't, I don't want that to interfere with those pieces of gold. All right, let's pan it off.
Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Holy crap, man. What a pan to end on. I'm going to try to get the rest of these rocks off. Oh, yeah, baby. Look at all that gold. Look at this big old chunk. Big old pieces of gold. Every one of them are nice sizes. That is so sweet. Look at that. Five, ten pieces. Boom. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Every single one of them are pickers. But yeah, they're all coarse gold, too. Really pretty. What a way to end. That's that's awesome. That's why I love saving that big stuff for last, for things like that to happen. Yeah, most of the time when I do my pay dirt, I'll go from small to big. But rarely when I'm at the big do I find that kind of gold maybe one piece that's small but for the most part never a big nugget and never that much in the plus 10 mesh that was awesome i'm gonna dry it take it upstairs measure it weigh it get a value all that good stuff we'll look at it in the microscope as well be back in a minute it is time to look at the gold and weigh the gold make sure it is dry oh yeah it's dry it looks like a lot of gold it looks like more than two grams we'll see but i've been wrong before i've been wrong a lot so we'll see what this looks like. There it is. Look at that big old pile of gold right there. Isn't that pretty? Nice, pretty gold. Instead of doing it on a microscope, we'll just do it with my phone. My phone does pretty good close-ups with gold, so we'll do that instead. All right, there it is right there. Zoom in very slowly. Yeah, pretty gold. Definitely some of the finest specimens I've ever seen. Look at the coarse gold in the many colors it comes in. You have light yellow, dark yellow, 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 and brownish yellow, and of course, golden yellow. Now let's get this thing straight. Get my little pan right there. We'll zero it out. We are on grams, and here we go. It's supposed to be two grams. I would say 2.2. Let's say 2.2 grams. Well, there's half a gram. Maybe not. It's a lot lighter than it looks, I guess. There's one gram. One and a half, one six, one nine, there's two. What did I say? Two, two, ooh, almost. 2.168, not bad. All right, let's get on the gold calculator and see what kind of value we got. All right, guys, we are on the gold calculator and let's put the numbers in. 2.169 is what we got out of that. we will call it 24 carat. Gold prices are at $2,155.96. That's <laughs> a lot of numbers. Calculate. Ooh, $150.35. That is good. $150.35, man. That's a good return. Go to our percentage calculator. I already put the total, $166.82. $150.35. Calculate. 90% return on that pay dirt. That's a great return. That's eBay, baby. It's the best eBay pay dirt I've bought. Let's look at it. So there it is right there. And he only had four. Looks like four sold out of stock. So yeah, I hit that right at perfect time. But yeah, I mean, I even bought it because he's got 99.3% positive feedback. He's got a ton of sales, 5,351. And there, there it is right there. Gold prospecting from eBay Micro 15. I hope he does that again. That was a good return. That was good pay dirt. Great pay dirt. Like I said, best pay dirt I've ever gotten from eBay. That's by far the best. Two thumbs up. I hope he sells it again because if he does, I will definitely buy from him again. That was, that was nice. It's good to have a good pay dirt like that. And plus the packaging. <laughs> You can't beat that. That's just cool. I don't know how much he paid for these bottles, but that was a great idea. And I can't believe that this was sealed. That shocked me more than anything. I had to crack the seal open just to uh, open it. This just means it wasn't even tampered with, so that's even cooler. All right, man. That does it for this pay dirt review of MCD Prospecting. I didn't see a website, and he doesn't have a website that I know of, or he would have put it on his card. If you come across him on eBay and he's selling some pay dirt, I do recommend that you buy it. That was a good one. Thank you guys so much for watching this pay dirt review again of MCD prospecting off of eBay. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also hit the like button, share button, notification bell. If you have any questions or comments, leave the comments down below. You know the drill. You've watched plenty of YouTube videos. My brain is just not working properly tonight. It's just bleh. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And until next time, peace and love. And I'll see you on my next review. Bye.